Welcome to Successful Living. I'm your host, Rob Auclair, financial planner at Balanced Wealth Management in East Greenwich, Rhode Island. On today's show, we're going to talk about resiliency. We're going to talk about the benefits of it. And we're going to talk about being resilient um, in difficult times and how to overcome that. We're then going to be joined by our mortgage expert, Steve Tetzner from Homestar Mortgage. And Steve is going to actually talk about current rates, but really tell us the differences between conventional and jumbo loans. We're then going to talk about retirement plans. Um, and many times right now, retirement plans offer Roth IRA contributions and traditional IRA contributions. And we're going to talk about the benefits of each and what might make best sense for you. And then we'll take a viewer question on workplace life insurance. So let's get started. Today's word of the day is resilience. Uh, resilience is the capacity to recover quickly from difficulties. And so when I think of, you know, the word of the day, I usually try to think of something that, that I went through. But, you know, I think something that a lot of people might relate to and might have seen is a couple movies. One is Rudy. Um, and Rudy is a movie about uh, a very small athlete who played football, loves football, wants to play for Notre Dame. And it takes him years and years and years. He finally gets into Notre Dame. He ends up being on the practice squad. And he actually gets in the game. And the resiliency that he showed going through that was unbelievable. Uh, and then the other one was The Pursuit of Happiness, um, and that was about a homeless man and how he actually became a very high-producing stockbroker. Um, and so both examples of resiliency, I, I think for me, are you, you really root for those people. So let's take a look at what are the benefits of being resilient. Uh, one is uh, you have better emotional and physical health. So by being resilient, you produce a positive mood. That mood promotes your immune system's functionality and physical health. Uh, number two, another benefit, less chance of risk-taking behavior. So by being able to bounce back from stressful situations, you decrease the likelihood um, that you might take uh, some risk-taking behavior, such as drinking, smoking, drug use, overeating, or just other bad habits. Number three, heightened emotional self-awareness. So in order to bounce back and recover from a challenging period, we need to understand and process our initial emotional reaction to what's happening. Uh, this is part of what helps protect us from developing mental difficulties. Number four, uh, benefits of being resilient, we increase our self-confidence. So by being resilient, you feel like you have more control over your life. Um, you, you, you feel like you've grown, you faced your fears, um, and you feel good about yourself. And then finally, you know, you have um, a better balance in your life. So by being resilient, you know, it helps you um, face the difficulties and, and lead a more balanced lifestyle. So I think when we think about that, you know, resiliency, a lot of times I just think, oh, resilience. We try hard and we push and we push and we push through. Uh, and many people take it for granted. Some people did it in a certain part of their life. Other people just, you know, as they might get older, might be, oh, I don't need to be resilient. And they get a little lazy. But here are ways in which if you do want to become more resilient, might be helpful. Number one, learn from some past experiences. And so that's just the best way. Like if you can pull those emotions and what you actually did uh, to what you're facing in front of you right now. So when I face a difficulty in my business today, I go back and I think about, oh man, it took me seven or 10 years to really get this thing going. I struggled for you know, almost a decade in this business of you know, you know, letdowns and, you know, not being able to get the clientele that I wanted, but I kept pushing and pushing and pushing. So when I have the little, you know, things that kind of, you know, come forward to me, I actually use that as an example. Number two, uh, look after your mental and physical self. So you want to be prepared ahead of time. Get yourself, make sure you're healthy by eating well, sleeping well, meditating if you need to, um, whatever it may be, get yourself on autopilot so now when you have difficult times, you don't have to worry about any of those other things. Number three, uh, face your problem. Don't avoid the issue. A lot of times in a, in a given day, just the other day, I, I had to make a bunch of calls that I didn't want to make. Thought about it. It was creating this difficulty for me. I made the one call. I felt like I jumped right in and I was right there. Number four, uh, don't be hard on yourself. Perfectionism is not a thing here. Reward yourself uh, when you're there. I tell my son all the time, he tries to be a perfectionist and then he just stops if it doesn't work. I say, you're going to learn by making mistakes and that's how you're going to grow. Hopefully he'll, he'll listen someday to me. And lastly, number five, get connected. Uh, build relationships. That support system of other people is excellent. So when we return, we'll be joined by Steve Tetzner, Vice President at Homestar Mortgage. Stay tuned. 